Hello YouTube viewers, this is Susie Berry of Serene Senses and I am here to talk to you today about how to release emotions. I had the experience last week of going to Manchester Pig Save, which was one of the most emotionally difficult periods that I have gone through over a space of a couple of hours. And at that point I was really really glad that I know these Eden Energy Medicine techniques. I'm not going to go into what they do at the Manchester Pig Save, you can look that up on Facebook in your own time, but just knowing these little exercises might be able to help you deal with the grief that you're feeling around various situations around the world right now. A lot of people have a lot of sorrow going on and a lot of fear about what's happening. So I decided to, while I was there, do these two exercises I'm going to show you and they really helped me be able to process my emotions and go on with the rest of my day. And if you want to see what I did in the rest of my day, you can check out my Facebook page online. So first of all, I'm just going to show you the exercise that I did to help deal with fear because there was a lot of fear going on outside the factory there and um, the element of water deals with fear helps you balance your kidneys and your bladder when you're doing this exercise I'm about to show you. So I'm going to do it up on my, my massage table. You can do it on the floor along with me. I'm going to do it side on just so you can see the rocking motion that's involved. So first of all, basically you bring yourself into a little tight ball and you're just going to gently rock back and forth. And about here, you're just going to imagine a blue flame and you're just gonna make a slight noise, just as if you're blowing out that flame. And as you imagine blowing out that flame, you're just blowing out any of those fears. Okay, so this is just what I did to help me deal with my fears last Saturday morning. So if you've got any fears bubbling up in you just now, just join in with me and just see how much you can let go. So you can just continue that on for as long as you feel you need to, just releasing any fears, gradually coming back into yourself and um, coming back into the here and now as you let go of those fears. So the other feeling that was really intense down in Manchester was the feeling of grief and sorrow. And so the exercise that helps deal with that relates to lung and large intestine because you're helping yourself to breathe deeper and feel inspiration letting go of that sorrow and grief and letting go of any sense of guilt or shame that's connected with it as you help to nourish your large intestine so for this next exercise you're going to stand up just bring your arms wide open so you plant your feet nice and hip width apart digging your feet into the earth and you're just going to gently bring your hands in together and just imagine collapsing all that sorrow and grief into a ball in front of yourself and as you do so you're going to make the sound that helps to balance the metal element in your lap which is a sound so you're just gently coming in Imagine you just have that sorrow balled up all together 
and they just go like you go and you breathe in it deeply. Reaching your chest and the snout. And just do that a few more times. And you can make that movement as many times as you need, just balling up all that grief and sorrow and letting go of it as you push your chest through. This time, as you push your arms together, I want you to just imagine any happy memories that you want to take with you. Things of grief and sorrow are important to let go of, but also important to remember every aspect of all emotions are important to keep in and to help them nourish and become a more balanced person. So anything else that you have that you want to remember of people or animals that you have met over the course of your life, just take that on this time. Balling it up. So that was just a little how-to of helping you develop your own emotions and come to a place of peace within yourself. I would love to have any of your feedback and thoughts and emotions. So thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.